complete regret. Recent events prove that Harry sad. is powerless to escape Meghan's evil at, hands. I'm trembling with excitement. Have you heard the news? Prince Harry has officially cut all ties with Britain. What should we have for dinner to celebrate? This is the best news I've heard all day, and I'm sure many others share my joy. Without further ado, let's dive into today's main topic. Welcome back to the Royal News 365 channel. Prince Harry has officially listed the United States as his permanent residence, marking a major move that severs his ties with the United Kingdom. Records from Companies House show that his new country state of ordinary residence is now the United States. It seems he's taking a bold step, and I hope he can continue to thrive as a good American citizen. This change comes amid growing pressure on the American president's administration to release Harry's visa records, following a legal challenge from the conservative Heritage Foundation think tank in Washington, D.C. Interestingly, despite being just another human being with a head, limbs, and other ordinary features, Harry tends to stir up trouble wherever he goes. People seem to resent him no matter where he goes. What might be the cause of this? Regardless, he has shown recklessness and stubbornness. How so? He left his home country for a new land, America, and openly admitted to using drugs. It appears he has little regard for American law. What emboldens him so much? Could it be that he has influential supporters in the U.S. who encouraged him to leave the U.K. and betray his homeland? That remains a possibility. But it's also absurd that he openly admits to using drugs yet tries to deceive authorities on his visa application. What a charade! I think that the criminals out there can commit crimes like murder, theft, but underneath they still have the humanity of a human being when they are afraid of sad parents, afraid of family witnessing some bad things. But with the reputation of a prince born from a prestigious royal family, he betrayed his family time and time again. Last year, he and Meghan were forced to give up their UK home Frogmore Cottage, leaving them without a permanent base in the UK. That house was a wedding gift given to them by the late Queen Elizabeth. How bad must they have behaved to have to be chased away? Now, they have caused an uproar again by saying that Britain's security is not guaranteed, so they will not return. People say they don't believe in bad karma, they commit many crimes and are afraid of retribution. A beggar still blatantly walks on the streets of the UK, but a prince is afraid there must be a hidden secret there. He is also a prince, born from the same mother, but Prince William is not like that. So, is it clear what the cause is, bastard? You should try going to the UK. You're right to be worried. The British people won't let you go easily. How can you grow up on our rent but betray us? Extremely angry. Before Harry couldn't ask anything from anyone after his behavior, he cut all ties with Britain. Hopefully King Charles will remove all titles now and just be his dad, however it won't be easy to do it, is his son, but he is also our king. We have traveled this nightmare with him and his family now we. Need our king and the firm to see to the titles and anything else that would include the people of Britain, may God give you the strength to see it through. To be honest, I don't think it's too much to ask him to strip Harry of his title. He is the king of a country, so removing obstacles and elements that harm the UK is completely his right and obligation. Furthermore, Harry himself has confirmed that he is an American citizen. That is absolutely good news for the British public, but for the royal family, I'm not sure, at least it's probably because they are related by blood. In any case, he should not refer to himself as a prince or duke for the sake of money. Meghan should also not use her unwarranted title become an American and a private citizen. How is it possible that an American citizen can have the same rights in the UK as an American citizen and enjoy the same benefits as a British royal family? Those things are extremely wild. Good, now that's 100% America's problem. In the past, he could have taken advantage of his royal reputation, or at that time he was still valuable to someone. But no, now he has broken off with the UK, which also means the value of his use is gone. Ah, another development, don't get excited, it's just wishful thinking on his part as he's trying to prepare the ground for when Trump comes to power so he can say he's committed to being 100% American to avoid being deported. He's scared, he deserves it. Wait a minute. This Papa excuse for a son has updated his official residence to the US effectively cutting off his ties to the UK. All these last couple of months he has said he intended on visiting his family more often, that he wanted to help.
out the royal family in light of the cancer diagnosis of both Kate and Charles, and now he claims to no longer reside in the UK at all. No doubt who's behind this. Here is the opening for any charities that want to find a way to get Harry replaced as a patron. He is no longer a working royal, he has no real family ties with them, has no domicile in the UK, and now he has listed his official home residence as the US. I know the royal family has multiple charities and really don't need to take on any more but the time has come. He is a patron for UK charities, not those in the US, and needs to be removed. Don't let him use the excuse that his work in the UK is unfinished and he has to return. He'll take our money. We must find a way to let him leave forever and have no reason to return. And that's right. How can a counselor of state for the UK still maintain that title despite one of the requirements being to have a residence in the UK? It sounds like all he's lacking is to take the citizenship exam for the US and if he does so, he should be definitely removed. No keeping any titles are attached to the royal family. It's hard to realize your son is turning his back on his home country, but Charles needs to take the proper steps and remove any and all titles, privileges, patronages, etc. He has more than enough grounds to do so. Therefore, it is a good sign that Harry will likely send a video message on Invictus Day then make a personal appearance. The Puerto Rico team of Meghan is running low on which drama to repeat and repeat because none is working anymore and the public is just getting more annoyed with their stunts and antics. After all, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets. Now completed the total isolation of Harry from his UK family, friends, and historical roots. Just waiting for the day Harry goes crazy because he realizes he has lost everything, has nothing left, and it's all because his wife planned to ruin his life. He will be mad and ask why Meghan treats him like that. Besides, I'm wondering when Meghan will decide to light the touch paper for divorce so she can move to her next titled or rich target now she has got him to officially name USA as his main residence. In fact, Harry is quite pitiful. Harry's case is typical of foolish love arguing with father and mother. We should take that as a lesson. Love is not wrong and necessary for everyone, but don't be so blind that you can't see the way forward. Be careful, you will become unhappy if you marry a cruel woman. In short, UK, I am happy for you, but not too sad for us. We'll see how long he lasts. He's not our prince, so he does not have the protection of the firm. We can be pretty brutal, especially when he starts his sermons on what we should do. William Morris Endeavor can cover up, but not near what the firm did. He better gets himself a Ray Donovan. No affection for USA base man Baby Royal and his shady little dot 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 anyway. They will both soil themselves when they get caught in a real car chase. Now here's the exciting part worth anticipating. An honest conversation about love. Let's consider the viewers of this video. Who among you is single and who is married? Married viewers, would you like to share your experiences with those who are single? For instance, is marriage intimidating? Should one be psychologically and financially prepared before tying the knot? Single viewers can ask questions and married viewers can offer answers in the comments section. Let's create an engaging discussion. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you have any thoughts on the topic or feedback on our analysis, please share them in the comments and we will respond. Don't forget to support our channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. See you soon, and remember to back the Royal News 365 to get more interesting videos. Goodbye!